Hey lovers, I have a little bit of an unhinged theory for you. Maybe not a theory as much as just testing something out. I apologize, I am very sick right now, so I do not sound like myself. But this rumor has been completely circulating all over the place that Taylor Swift is going to make some major announcement on Tuesday, September 5th which normally I don't pay any attention to these, but this one for some reason has me thinking. Because B101.1 is a Philly radio station, her hometown, which is, Reading is her hometown, but it's very close. Monday is a holiday. Normally she doesn't post on the weekends or holidays too much, but Tuesday would make sense. The only thing that's holding me back from her making a major announcement is that she just made one, her movie in theaters, The Eras Tour. But hang on a second, because I found something, and I'm going to test out the 112 theory. No doubt I'm totally on board with the theory. I think it's absolute truth at this point. We, I mean, Nikki, Ryan, everyone's pretty much confirmed it. But for funsies, let's go back 112 days from this upcoming Tuesday, 9-5. Let's just see what we get. And this is what we get. Her hometown post from Philly, from her three shows in Philly. Now she could have posted on Monday, the 15th, but she didn't. She posted on Tuesday, the 16th, which would make 112 days to 9-5. And I always thought that this post was super weird. First of all, first sentence right away, Philly was a dream, honestly. You guys know I've been on this dream thing with her. Like she's constantly using the words, as are several of the other people in her close circle. But then she goes on to say three twice. She writes it out once and then puts it in the numerical form once. And she shouts out the Eagles, which is something that she did while at the shows. Confirming that in Gold Rush, it's the Eagles t-shirt. The team, not the band. So she played Philly. 5-12, 13 and 5-14. The very first song she played there was Gold Rush. Now... I heavily suspect Gold Rush to be about Harry Styles. I mean, Golden, he has a song called Golden. Everybody wants you. Everybody wonders what it would be like to love you. Feels like flying till the bone crush. Falling feels like flying till the bone crush. He has a song, Fallen. Like, he's obviously beautiful. Obviously, his hair falls in a place like dominoes. With my Eagles t-shirt hanging from your door at dinner parties, I call you out on your contrarian shit, which he has contrarian shit, and the coastal town we wandered around. They did wander around a coastal town when they were together a long time ago. Then at the end, you have twinkling eyes like sinking ships on water so inviting. Ships on waters. He very famously got his ship tattoo when he was with Taylor. What absolutely confirmed this theory for me was that in his music video, Satellite, which came out May 5th, 2023, 13 days before her May 16th Philly announcement, there is a clip, Eagle Drive, Gold Rush street crisscrossing blew my mind confirmed what i already knew but 13 days wow also the song satellite the minutes add up the minutes and the seconds of the song the length add up to 13 now let's go to 513 which was her middle show in philly already right off the bat we have a 13 first song she plays Forever and Always, off of Fearless Taylor's version. Great. Second song, This Love, 1989. 
this love struck me as a little odd or not odd, but just like I was wondering when she'd play it because that was the song that she posted about in 22 when she released it for the summer I turned pretty. And it's been kind of like this anthem for 1989 Taylor's version. And I heavily suspect Harry will be on 1989 Taylor's version somewhere. But take a look at the first song, Forever and Always. She snuck that in there. Guess what? It's track 11 from the second album, Fearless. One, one, two. So now in this test, this theory, we have two references to 112 or 112, however you want to say it. Also note that she did solidify Philly as her hometown show. Many people thought she would have done that for Nashville, but she did it for Philly. If anyone was interested, the third night, which was 514, she played Hey Steven and The Best Day for Mother's Day. Hey Steven could be a nod back to her interview that she did with Stephen Colbert after she released Fearless Taylor's version. I've watched that interview so many times that I feel like I'm missing the Easter eggs out of that interview now because I'm just completely overanalyzing it. So what does all this mean? This post made about her hometown shows, May 16th, 2023, is exactly 112 days from this upcoming Tuesday, 9-5, where she is rumored to have a big announcement via a Philly radio station. On 513 in Philly, again, she sang Forever and Always off of Fearless, which is track 11 off the second album, Another 112. So with the Harry Styles connections, and there's been more. I had done a TikTok way back. I think it was April where, yeah, April, because um, Taylor was spotted at the Electric Lady party wearing the Gucci ring, same same type of ring that Harry lost on a, in a concert during his tour. It's right there. You can change out the stones. He was reunited with it. Fans helped him track it down. He got it back. So that was such a big story. I did the TikTok on it saying mm, that lion, Gucci lion head ring that she's wearing is prominently standing out in the picture that she's taking at Electric Lady. And it's a direct link to Harry, to me. So this could mean a couple things for the announcement. A lot of people think we're getting more tour dates, and we very well could. But I think it may have had something to do with 1989, a release of the vault tracks, possibly one featuring Harry Styles, possibly announcing that 1989 is a double album, which is what I thought this entire time. She wrote 150 songs for 1989, but yet says there's only five vault tracks. I don't know. I find that sus. I've been kind of looking at this theory for a while, so if you guys get fresh eyes on it, take a look at it. See what you can come up with. Do you have any predictions? Put them in the comments. Love you, lovers, and don't be like me. Stay healthy out there.